Welcome back to the channel. In this short video, we're going to have a look at the best Sky broadband deals currently available. In the latter part of this video, we'll have a look at how Sky compares against other UK broadband providers in the latest Ofcom Broadband Customer Service Report, published in May 2023. Ofcom is the UK's communications regulator and publishes this report to help people make informed decisions about which provider is best for them. Don't forget to like or subscribe if you find our content useful. Let's take a look at the best Sky broadband deals currently available. A link to these packages can be found in the description and comments section of this video. Sky has a range of packages with average speeds from 35 megabits per second through to 900 megabits per second. Their most competitively priced packages this week are their Superfast, Ultrafast and Ultrafast Plus packages. Their Superfast package is currently on offer for £26 per month and depending on coverage in your area, you may get an even faster connection than the advertised 61 megabits per second. Use the link in the description or comment section of this video to see what speed you'll get. For an extra £3 per month you can upgrade to the ultra-fast package which has an average download speed of 145 megabits per second. This speed will be suitable for most households with 5 to 6 users. Sky packages are all on an 18-month contract and Sky are currently offering free setup. Sky's wall-to-wall -wall Wi Fi guarantees Wi Fi in every room, or your money back. Sky Broadband runs on the BT OpenReach network. Setup and installation takes approximately two to three weeks. A pay as you go phone line is included in these packages. Evenings and weekends, anytime, and international call bundles are available for an additional monthly fee. You can add a Sky Entertainment TV package for an extra £25.99 per month but if you're after a broadband and TV bundle, this is not the cheapest option. I'll show you how to get a Sky broadband and TV package cheaper later in this video. If all you're after is broadband only, there is a link to these packages in the description and comments section of this video. Let's have a look at the cheapest way to get a broadband and TV bundle. If you're searching for a broadband and TV package, the cheapest option is to purchase a Sky Stream and broadband bundle. There is a link in the comment and description section of this video to these Skystream TV and broadband bundles. Skystream is a streaming TV box that is also referred to as a Skystream puck. It offers Sky TV and other entertainment content over Wi-Fi without the need for a satellite dish. The small TV box simply plugs into a free HDMI port at the back of your television. It comes with a Netflix subscription and the Sky Entertainment package which includes around 150 channels and over 30,000 shows. You can customize your package by adding other Sky Entertainment, kids and sports channels during the checkout process. By moving to Skystream you can cancel or transfer your existing Netflix subscription. Sky will send you instructions on how to transfer your existing Netflix subscription so that it's covered under your Skystream subscription. You can get Skystream by itself for just £19 per month or you can purchase a Skystream and broadband bundle. The Skystream and broadband packages start at just £36 per month. The Netflix package included for free allows you to watch Netflix on one device. You can upgrade this during the checkout process. For an additional £4 per month you can upgrade it to allow Netflix on two devices, or for an extra £8 per month, it will allow you to watch Netflix on four devices. There is a link in the comment and description section to these Skystream TV and broadband bundles. Now let's move on to have a look at Sky's performance against other UK broadband providers. This table is an extract from Ofcom's Comparing Customer Service Report, which was published in May 2023. By shining a light on the performance of the UK's main broadband providers, Ofcom's report allows people to look beyond price and see what level of service they can expect from different providers. It also acts as an incentive for providers to improve their level of customer service. As you can see, Sky's customers' general satisfaction with the overall service, and satisfaction with the speed of their service, was in line with the average across the industry. 55% of customers were happy with Sky's complaint handling, and they also had the fewest complaints to Ofcom. Sky's average call waiting time was also better than the industry average. All in all, Sky's performance and general feedback from customers is very positive making them a solid choice for broadband and TV packages. If these findings have made you reconsider joining Sky, I've included a link in the video comments and description for you to explore the top offers from other providers. That brings us to the end of this short video, I'd like to thank you for viewing, and I hope this video has been useful. 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with these weekly videos. Once again, thank you for viewing.